Welcome for this weekly recap of the blockchain news. If you are Web2 developers and you want to get started in Web3 development, check out this free training. It will explain how to learn Web3 development and how to get your first six-figure job in the industry. The link is in the description. Ether saw a steady increase in value last week and is currently above $3,000. The Geth client is close to being ready for the proof of work switch off with only one major peer waiting test. Assange DAO is a new DAO created to free the Wikileaks founder Julian Assange and it has already raised 38 million in Ether. The DeFi market cap rose back to $85 billion after retail investors slowly gained back confidence. The yield farming protocol Alpha Homora has gone live with their V2 mainland launch. Mean Finance is a protocol for dollar cost averaging for tokens and it just went live on Optimism. Consensus acquired MyCrypto and plans to make it a part of the MetaMask team. The Bolt App Yacht Club is in talk with A16Z to raise funds to support its expansion. The Wormhorn Solana Ethereum bridge was exploded for $300 million. The Index Coop Rari Pool was attacked, but the Uniswap Oracle manipulation was prevented by an arbitrage bot. The ZeroX protocol rolled out a multi chain swap feature for NFTs for EVM compatible chains. GameStop launched a carbon neutral NFT marketplace with no gas fees and it's powered by Immutable X and it has $100 million in creator grants. Nike is suing StockX for selling NFT with unauthorized images of sneakers. India will tax gains from digital assets at 30%. The UK tax authority will treat yield from DeFi deposit as capital gains. Bitcoin has flipped the market cap of Facebook. The Alchemy NFT API is live on mainnet. Foundry, an alternative to Hat Hat and Truffle, added support for gas reports. That's it for today. Bye.